What's going on everybody? Jesse here back with another video. In this video, I'll be talking all about the triggers section within Go High Level and what is capable using triggers and how we use it to save a lot of money on our Zapier bill. Stay tuned. So my fiance is in the other room in full quarantine mode. She's on a Zoom meeting with her family. So we're going to get in the meat and potatoes of this video, which is all about triggers. And I haven't seen any other videos that are specifically talking about triggers and giving an overview of how they work. And I was looking for a video like that just to send to my clients, but I didn't see any. So I figured I'd make one and hopefully this helps you out too. So let's just jump into triggers right here on the left hand side. We have a bunch of triggers in here. High Level recently added this folder section, which is amazing. Um, we need to get more organized with our own agency account. We use it all the time for our clients. We just haven't gotten around to use it for this account. But let's hop into the new basic rule, which is where you would want to go when you create a new trigger. It's going to ask you to uh, add a name for your trigger. And uh, you can always rename this. So for the example, I'm just going to put appointment reminder. On save. If you ever want to change it, you can always just change it up here. So what they want you to do first is what should trigger this rule, right? So this is a rule. There's a many different options that you can choose here, which is uh, added to a campaign, appointment, birthday reminder, call status, contact DND, contact tag, a bunch of different things here, right? So it, it's its functionality there is pretty wide, right? So you can do a lot of different things in here that takes away the need for doing certain things in Zapier, which is great because Zapier can uh, add tasks over time and it can get pretty expensive, if, especially if you're running a marketing agency. So this really eliminates a lot of tasks. So it's awesome. So let me go into a few of the rules that I use most of the time. One of them that I use a lot is contact tag, and it's probably one of the first ones that most people play around with. So let's say that a specific tag is added to a lead and you want a specific action to happen when that tag is added to that lead. So what you would do is you would add a filter and then you would select tag added. Then you would select the tag that you want to fire off the rule that performs the action that you want. So you would add the action. Now let's say we want to add to a campaign, right? So what I would want to do is select appointment reminders. That's the campaign I want the lead to go into when they're uh, tagged with the tag call booked, right? So all you would need to do after that is activate the trigger and that would work. But there are many different things you can do after that as well. You can add a lot of different steps. So let's say, for example, I want to be reminded or I, I want to be notified when somebody booked a call. So you can add a uh, action, something like, uh, send a notification or send an SMS. You can actually type in the phone number, write the message of what you want. You can put custom values. For example, it can say the lead's name, when the appointment is. So I, I set up things like this in my own triggers just to know exactly uh, who booked a call and automatically have that be uh, notifying me when that happens. So uh, a lot of different uh, ways to um, utilize triggers. So I'm just going to touch on a few of them, right? So I'm not going to get into everything, obviously, because then this video would be an hour long. But most of the time, the way that I would actually do this is I would actually set up the rule to be customer booked an appointment. Actually, no, not customer booked an appointment. I actually use uh, appointment. Uh, mainly the reason why I use appointment versus customer um, is because some most of the time, I am actually talking to prospects on the phone and I set the appointments for them. They can set the appointment themselves. I don't really care how the appointment gets set up. That's just my preference. Um, and then I usually add the filter and 
in a specific calendar, right? So if they, if I add an appointment to a specific calendar, then this appointment reminders campaign goes out and I can do a bunch of different things afterwards. So this is just an example. You can uh, add them to any different campaign. Let's say it's just a Facebook lead that came in from a funnel and you want to add them to a specific campaign right away. You can do that based off of a tag or um, whatever way that makes sense for you as far as the rule. Um, they could also submit a survey or they can submit a form, which could be your um, your landing page in a sense, and that's how you get them in. So there could be multiple different ways that you get the lead in, but as long as you're able to automate that and not have to manually do the process, um, that's the goal, right? So that's a quick overview of how to use triggers. You just want to activate it once you're um, okay with the setup and you're happy with the way it works. You can always test some things as far as notifications and sending out emails and texts and making sure they're going through. But if you like this video and you want to see more content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys on the next video.